K-pop girl band BLACKPINK made a great return last June with another mega hit single, How You Like That, which has set a new record of becoming the most viewed video, music video, and K-pop video on YouTube in 24 hours after racking up 86.3 million views within a single day. The K-pop queens performed How You Like That for the first time on Jimmy Fallon's The Tonight Show and wowed K-pop fans not only with their amazing performances but also with their eye-catching stage outfits inspired by Korean traditional attire, hanbok. As much as the outfit received explosive reactions from global K-pop fans, it has also sparked a debate after some Japanese viewers questioned the attire's cultural origin. Some Japanese viewers have tweeted hanbok is not supposed to be that colorful or flashy. That's a complete lie, citing Korea's lack of dime technique in the past and saying they were copied from Japanese traditional dress kimono. Tana, the designer of Blackpink's hanbok costume, responded to the criticism shortly after, explaining the clothes were designed based on various clothing styles of the Korean traditional hanbok. Aside from all the online bashing, what's most important is that Blackpink's hanbok has played a huge part in bringing the popularity of modern hanbok to a whole different level. Can't wait for more of these Korean traditional clothes with a modern, stylish touch being featured by K-pop artists. Pants for men and skirts for women? Mm -mm. That is no longer the trend in most countries around the globe, including Korea. As young people now refuse to limit themselves based on the old gender-oriented standards, they started to create this new norm called genderless, and this has come to affect every aspect of our lives. Also here in South Korea, genderless items are trending. Before, female flight attendants were characterized by their attractive, womanly features. Perfect face with a pretty smile, heels, and tight skirts no matter how cramped the aisle is. However, this is also one that's changing in Korea. Air OK, a Korean airline company, adopted a genderless uniform where the flight attendants of both genders wear pants, big enough shirts, and sneakers. This is aimed at eradicating gender stereotypes while improving the uniform's practicality so that they could be more responsive to passengers and more active in motion. The genderless wave across the nation has also changed Posuni, the symbol character of policewoman marking its 21st birthday earlier in July. Her long eyelashes and her skirt, which she has worn for decades, are now all gone. Instead, she wears pants, and her face now reveals her ears more than her feminine haircut. The idea of genderless is also affecting many other industries, including beauty, fashion, K-pop, the kidswear, and toy market. This is all we have for this week's episode on what's trending here in Korea. If you liked our video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back with more fun contents. Bye-bye!